Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. So today we are doing readings for the last quarter in Capricorn, so your time to half shine. And yeah, let's get into this reading. We're going to start off with a Dora Vizzle deck. And if this reading resonates, or if it doesn't, I really appreciate all of the likes and subscribes. It really helps my channel grow. So appreciate all the folks out there who have done that thus far. And we have Demon. So a little bit of chaos, but with chaos comes peace. Challenges us to find peace. So let's get into this reading for you. Chaos can be a little bit fun too. But inevitably, it cannot rule everything. Just be a part of it. Ooh, so speaking of chaos, there really isn't a lot right now. Thank goodness. Maybe you need some to challenge you to move forward. But right now, conflict is not at the core of your concern <clears throat> peace maybe you want peace <laughs> that cartoon invader zoom peace is good peace is nice peace goes together like chicken and rice <laughs> let's see here page of wands so learning how to actualize your goals and how to foster that growth energy that is required to do so. So that could be actual things like uh, working on your ability to be adaptable and versatile, uh, recognizing your transferable skills so that you don't spend too much time, you know, doing the same thing twice to for the purpose of advancing your your career or any type of creative project that you might be working on. This could also be doing like sexual energy work as well. Um, learning how to get your creative juices flowing, not in a literal sense, but just, um, you know, like the practice of setting boundaries of finding the courage to put yourself out there, of learning how to, you know, engage again in relationships for romantic purposes or just any kind of, any kind of reason really. So doing that growth work, like maturing up is what is at the core of, of page energy. So this could be you, this could be someone in your circle, someone that you care for even. Then we have the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've been a little bit under the weather, so my voice is a little bit off. So the Eight of Cups is about cutting your losses and moving forward for the purpose of self-growth. So definitely in alignment with this Page of Wands energy. You could even arguably say that this is the Page of Wands holding their staff as they turn and walk away. But this is the emotional things that this page needs to let go of in order to move forward onto, onto greener pastures. And the hermit. So lighting your own way with your inner knowledge and wisdom and ability to ground yourself on your path to, you know, to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is just coming to terms with or coming into connection with your inner light. And it's a leadership quality as well, recognizing this inner light, knowing that it can light the way for yourself and also possibly for others as well. <coughs> and we have the fool so maybe embarking on a new journey with this fabulous inner light that you are 
discovering. That's what's what you've been. That's where you're coming from. This discovery of the possibility for forward movement for a new journey. Like you've you've taken the plunge, the initial steps to change up your situation. We have the Knight of Wands. So this could be a person in your near future. This could also be you just basically moving from the page to the night. So instead of learning and growing and like doing the basic work of goal setting, you are putting it into action now. You may have decided to write up a business plan or you have a plan of action for self-growth and you have you're putting that energy in and you're learning how to you know bring together your energy and your focus so that it can fully turn into like a nurturing type of energy that you would see at the next level which is the queen So again, adaptability is very important still with the with the suit of wands because it's creative energy and creative energy is not fixed. So it's very important to to keep an open mind as you move through this this phase of developing your fiery self, your fiery side. And your attitude is very grounded, which is exactly what you need right now being a Capricorn especially it comes easy for us and we have to remember that you know if we let our ground get too muddy it's going to be difficult for the fire to sustain itself so not letting our emotions get too in the way but also acknowledging that they're there and maintaining them so that we're able to keep things in alignment um, cause you know, like when it rains, sometimes that's going to put our fire out and we just have to, you know, go through the process of time, taking the time that we need to get ready again to get our fires lit. So just knowing like, then that comes along with this adaptability with the fire sign, right? Where the fire energy, I should say, but the attitude also that is very, um, specific to the Knight of Pentacles is, um, protecting and guarding the domestic front. So your daily routine, your home life, your anywhere that you are sort of locally moving through, that is at the core of night and of pinnacle energy. It's like wherever you are at, being grounded in that space and and guarding your own energy in all the spaces that you navigate through. And we have the King of Wands. So, wow, jumping, never mind the Queen. We're going to jump right into Kingdom. So, <coughs> others see your, your capacity for that. Others see your potential for that. Others see how adaptable you are, how fully capable you are of not only fostering this, you know, this very goal-centered energy, this creative energy for yourself, they see you as being capable of helping others to do the same. This could also be a person in your environment that you are seeking guidance from. Uh, it could be a physical person. It could be a person. It could be ancestors. So it's very much within your environment on whichever level you understand and connect with. But again, adaptability is at the core here. <clears throat> and then the hanged one. So it's reversed. There is, you have a fear of not being able to change your perspective. And I mean, it might not necessarily be, this could be a hope as well. Like maybe you don't want to change. <laughs> I don't know how um, progressive that is, but I really think that, you know, progressiveness and our ideas and how we see things 
is a good thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about you know, hopes and fears and how they relate to how we see things. So letting go of fears um, that work for us, that don't work for us and holding on to hope that does work for us and being able to take an honest look at what, like how that works and how that pans out is really, is really important. So it sounds like, you know, you may have a fear of subscribing to a closed mind or a fear of ignorance perhaps and I really think that as long as you keep channeling this fiery adaptable versatile energy it's not going to it's not going to really be an issue for you as a matter of fact I would say that this is a healthy fear to have that helps to keep your fire lit And then we have temperance. So finding a place of balance where your energies are able to ebb and flow and stay interchangeable in a way that is effective with solid boundaries, with purpose. And, you know, that's sort of like as above so below like on an as above so below level so like energetically being connected with you know the cosmic energies that surround us from the universe and that keep us grounded and that keep us learning and understanding and and feeling and interacting with our environments like just this really spiritual ebb and flow of you know, our worldview and how we, how we connect with source, how we connect with ground, how we connect with water and with the air that we breathe as well. So this is a really beautiful spread Capricorn. I'm really loving how peaceful and full of purpose this reading is. So let's take a spiritual AF card and make it a little bit sassy. So things get harder before you level up. Know that. Well, that's not always the case, but I feel like it often is. That conflict definitely challenges us to move forward and on up. And it says here, Capricorn, that you're working hard and making good life choices. And then out of nowhere, a shitstorm, a shitstorm starts and you can't figure out why. It's like mountain climbers getting to the peak. It's steeper and the weather is worse up there, but if they were to give up or spend time crying about why it's so hard, no one would ever get to the top of Everest. Most of us would rather chop off a hand than climb a snow-covered mountain, but it's still a great metaphor for making shit happen. <laughs> All right. So with that, Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this reading, and please do hit that like and subscribe button. I also do personal readings, so you can hit me up on Instagram, and we can book that way. And you can also catch me on Twitch doing, doing free readings on the weekend. So feel free to sign up there. There's a really great tarot community. And we'll see you again for the new moon. Take care and bye for now.